Well, there are very few shopping days left till Rosh Hashanah. We're in the month of Elul, the Jewish month that leads to Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. And there are three things that I'm going to suggest that you do in order to have the greatest Rosh Hashanah of your life. Number one, if Rosh Hashanah is your day in court, it's your day of judgment, just like if you were accused of a crime, God forbid, if you actually had to step into court, you better have a great lawyer. So number one, you gotta get a great lawyer. Who's the lawyer? Well, you're the defendant, but you're also the lawyer. You know how in American law, you can also be your own lawyer? Well, that's what you are in Rosh Hashanah. You are the defendant, but you're also your lawyer. You're, you're also your own advocate. Now, if you want to get a great lawyer, you want somebody who's done their homework, who's done their research, who's totally prepared. Don't walk into Rosh Hashanah and open up the prayer book and go, whoa, whoa, this is scary stuff. Maybe I should have prepared. Because everything that happens on Rosh Hashanah is going to decide your whole year. Everything that's decided, everything that happens on Rosh Hashanah, that means all your next year until next Rosh Hashanah is going to be decided this Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. So you better do your homework. You better be, be prepared. You should go over your year, your mistakes, clear them up, your goals. That's number one. Get a good lawyer. Number two, be sincere. Don't walk into Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur and say to the Almighty, well, I know I've made my mistake, sorry. Oh really? That wasn't so sincere. Often you read in accounts of trials that someone was found guilty and thrown into jail because the jury didn't believe their story, didn't believe that they were sincere in their regret, in their remorse. So you can't walk in and prepare for this, for Rosh Hashanah, you can't be taking this month and saying to people, sorry, or, or saying to God, oh, you know, I, I know I, sorry. You gotta mean it. It's gotta be real. You have to feel the pain of the mistakes that you made and the consequences. So that's number two, you have to be sincere. Number three, you should know what you want for the outcome. What do you want the judge to say at the end of the trial? Not just innocent, because we know we've made mistakes. What is it that the judge should say that's going to propel you and help you into the next stage of your life? Where do you want to be at this time next year in all aspects of your life? All right, so that's your homework for LO. Get a good lawyer, be sincere, and know what you want for the outcome. I'm Lori, almost live.